I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. The ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He gets to about the 34-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. About three yards gained there on the play from the halfback. Yeah, not much there for the ball carrier on this misdirection play. But he was able to fight forward just enough to get his team a new set of downs. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Bowser takes a handoff, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he is drilled at the 31. made at the 20. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. And he shoved out of bounds around the 12-yard line. That makes it 6 and 10. after positive yardage. That's a deep That makes it first and goal. Kill, kill, And he's tackled at the four-yard line. get him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. It's the 11th play of the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Northwestern is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. The offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's taken down at the 24. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 24 yard line. Good tackle there in space. He's on the run. 
He's knocked out of bounds right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Keep 15. Keep 15. Mike 42. Mike 42. Stand on Mark. Mark Stevens. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Flings it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. You feel bad to criticize anybody for being aggressive, but if he wouldn't have bid on the play action, I don't know if they would have been able to pick up the first down. From the 38 yard line, it's first down. Man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Saunders tackles him for a loss at the 40 yard line. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. Setting up play action. Fires out to his wideout. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 24-yard line, first down. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That's good for gaining two yards. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Run and he's brought down. That'll make it 35. So at the end of one quarter, Northwestern leads 3 0. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Zipped it out and that was almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Iowa can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Duncan has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Red, two, orange, three, orange, three. Run play, and he'll lose yards. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Second and 13. Ball on the 22. Up the middle and stuffed. Five guys.
guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike, and he drops it. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Adams is waiting for the snap. Cooper fields it at the 37. Tackle at the 46. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Run inside, stop quickly. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 46. He's in trouble. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the offense. They bring him down in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Gets to about the 37-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they got him for a loss. One-yard loss for the halfback. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 36-yard line. Tackle around the 37-yard line. He's under pressure. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. the 37-yard line. Got a man, tackled for a loss. They could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here.
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. It's second and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. A nice run up the middle. The offense couldn't get anything going that time. No, they couldn't. They really looked out of sync there, and they're going to have to make some adjustments to come back next time out. Taylor to punt. Oh, he got nailed on that one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Leaps picked off. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. He zips one over to the right. And it's intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 44. I just don't think he saw the defender. And he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From the 44-yard line, first down. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. the middle they knock it down incomplete this is a well-prepared defense they know where to be and they know what their opponent likes to do they play tight coverage as well third down now they need to get it down to the 34 throws complete big loss One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. We played a half of football. 3-3 three, three time. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives. Our defense has got her back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, 
like, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Tries to get around the corner. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 40. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. After a decent run up the gut. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Taylor is the punter. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Side run there. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. He's to the 40. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Call it a gain of 29 yards. That makes it first and 10. He fights forward to about the 40. They'll bring him down around the 19-yard line. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Down he goes at the eight-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. 
Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the three-yard line. Number 49 makes the tackle at the three-yard line. That makes his third and goal. Touchdown, Northwestern! So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 77-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 10-3. Northwestern lines up for the kickoff. Taken at the five. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick throw, incomplete, one his receiver. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He heaves it deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Taken down in the backfield. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Taylor awaits the snap. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of the defensive line. Makes it out to about the 43. That brings up second and nine. Northwestern up seven points. He fights forward to about the 43. throw. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Sargent picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. He's looking for his man. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Going with a run and a very physical play here by the defense. 
They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. Northwestern leads 10-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Northwestern is up by a touchdown. Zips it to the back. Good tackle there in space. With the pass incomplete. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Steps out of bounds around the 41 yard line. Adams, he'd like to change field position with his punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a play or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board it could be the difference in the game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They run it left, and they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Nice run there. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Bring him down for a loss on the play. down at the 36 yard line that's a gain of two on the play that makes it fourth and four here we go here we go they've got 10 guys up they're coming after the kick they bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. Just under three to go in regulation. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 29-yard line, second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. Brought 
down around the 38 yard line. Cooper, the return man. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Just over a minute left. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Inside handoff. And they make the stop at about the 45. That's a team. Catches it, and that's all. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle at the 41. Bird gains seven yards with a catch there. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. And he throws it away. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Tackle made the 37 yard line. Number 94 with the tackle at the 37 yard line. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. Throws. He's hit and taken down. to the outside. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. He 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Not much time left on the clock, and we've got a great one going. It's all tied up at 10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. Complete, he's got room. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick pass. They'll bring him down at the 47. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. He airs it out. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled. So we're going to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Mike 42, Mike 42. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he's tackled at about the 21. That's a gene of four on the That makes it second from the 21 yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 18 yard line. That makes it third and three. out to the tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Low-scoring ball game, Kirk. You know, it only takes one big run, one big pass play, something like that, or maybe in the return game that could bust this thing wide open. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick out to his receiver. He might have a chance. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 10-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled at the six-yard line. Hankins on the tackle at the six-yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Scrambling around. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Third and goal for the lead. Intercepted. Game over. And he is drilled at the three-yard line.
quarter comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Iowa 13, Northwestern 10. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.